Hi, and welcome to Commodore. When prompted to add a Kubernetes cluster, copy the Helm command and paste it into your terminal to install our agent in less than a minute. There you go. Now you can see every workload on this cluster. You can filter your services by checking any of the filters on the left. Commodore will start monitoring changes for each Kubernetes resource and displaying them on a coherent timeline. Oh no, one of the services became unhealthy. Let's dive in and see what changed. Clicking on the service reveals a complete timeline of all changes and events of all related resources. Looks like we're having availability issues. Let's zoom in to see exactly what happened. Here, we can see that following the latest deploy, the app started having availability issues. Clicking on the issue prompts a drawer with all the relevant information and context you need. Two of two pods are unhealthy. Plus, you can see the workload description. This looks a bit suspicious. Let's have a quick look at the pod logs. Yes, you can view old and live pod logs and events directly on Commodore's platform without having to access kubectl. You can see the node is low on resources. We can also see that an infra issue on the node level occurred right after the app issue. Perhaps they are correlated. Now, you would normally run a series of checks to pinpoint what's wrong exactly with the node. Luckily for you, Commodore already ran those for you and returned with remediation instructions. Aha! Looks like we have found the culprit. Now, we can follow the instructions and set memory limits on the services so that they don't run the node down. Yay! The service is healthy again! You just solved your first K8s issue using Commodore. Good for you. Now, finish the cluster integration and start troubleshooting K8s like a pro.